wanted to uh, give you guys another work in progress idea here. So what I did tonight basically was ripped out all of the old wiring that ran from the back of the room in the equipment closet to the surrounds. Um, that was actually the access hole I cut six years ago and seven years ago when we moved into the house. I was able to find it again and just sort of punch it out. Um, left a pretty green, pretty clean hole because I didn't use tape when I drywalled it. I just used joint compound, so it pretty much popped right back out. Um, I'm going to hopefully have some people that do drywall come in and patch uh, these various holes. Uh, I've pulled all the cabling out from the projector except for the power. I'm going to do that tomorrow night. And this was all rock wool, I guess, I think is what it's called, that was stuffed up inside. There's still more up there. There's probably this much, a third again, this much up inside the ceiling still right around the holes where the infinite baffle was. Um, originally when I put it in, just so much dead air space up there, it was actually boomy. So I did need to put something in there. I've pulled most of it down. I got to get the rest of that out of there. This strip is the original strip that I used. I was able to essentially, again, rip that out. Um, again, I'll have somebody come in and do sort of a better job patching it than I had originally done. Um, although that one actually wasn't bad. Uh, I had better luck patching a wall than a ceiling. Um, these are going to be a problem. Um, I tacked these into the joists with a nail gun before I screwed them in. I removed all the screws and they can hold my entire 180 pound weight with just with uh, uh, little air brad nails that are still holding them in there. So I'm going to have to go get a crowbar and a sawzall and I don't even know what to get this out so that the ceiling, excuse me, the ceiling can be drywalled over there. Um, so that's another fun project. And then, as you can see, quite a few access holes. I typically have been able to run wire without cutting so many holes. These holes were actually already there. These are the ones I used to run wiring to the surrounds for the living room, which is uh, directly upstairs. So those were already there. These holes running the length of the room were the ones I used to wire the room when we moved in seven years ago. And I basically sort of reopened those same holes and we'll get somebody to come in and uh, hopefully patch them up. Um, so all the wiring is dropped where it needs to be um, for all the surrounds. Essentially what's left is cleaning up this massive amount of wiring here. So I don't know, it's pretty dark back here. I don't know if you can see this. This was what's, yeah, you can't really see this. This is what was in the wiring closet. Let me flip on another light here and see if I can give you a better shot. This is sort of what was in the wiring closet end. Um, just hundreds of feet of cable. There's like a 50 foot DVI cable in there that was pre HDMI and lots and lots of speaker wire because I had everything wired to the equipment closet back here, which meant everything was wired in the ceiling, including the front, left, right, center. The subwoofer amp was back here. So I had uh, eight cables Four, sorry, four cables running just for the subs back to this back room. So lots and lots and lots of cable. I think I originally bought um, a thousand feet when I wired this room the first time and used uh, probably three quarters of it, if not more. So got a lot of extra wiring. A lot of it's been really, I was le a lot less patient when I wired this room and and a lot less, I guess, skilled, I would say. As I was pulling this wire back out, there were a lot of nicks um, in, the, in the outer sheathing. I don't know if any of that really went through to the actual two inner wires, but there were a lot of places where the outer um, covering of the wiring was torn. So didn't run into that with this wiring. Actually, it pulled a little bit easier in general than new wiring um, and had a little bit more patience and I think if I remember we're doing this room the first time, the access holes were cut sort of um, partway through the process. I got frustrated with trying to pull wires from, you know, long distances and ended up cutting more holes than what I originally had done. If I would have done that in the first place, it would have been a lot easier. So a lot of cleanup to do. Got to get rid of um, a lot of drywall dust uh, or chunks of drywall, all this insulation, get these actually dropped down the wall here and get the baffles taken down out of the ceiling. But that's about all that's left 
before I can patch and paint, and then I can pretty much move stuff in and hook it up. So it's it's going in some ways it's going a lot faster than I expected. It is still a lot of work to get this all wired if you want the wires to not be exposed and you want things wired through the ceiling. So anyway, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs>